Hey everybody, I'm Melissa. Thank you so much for following along as I explore the unique charm of Japan's Takarizuka Review. So in last week's episode, I spoke about the Takarizuka Special, an annual event where actresses from across many different troupes gather to perform together on stage. In this week's episode, I'm going to be looking at another special event as I attempt to answer the question, what is the Takarizuka Sports Festival? So the Takarizuka Sports Festival is a special event held every 10 years by the Takarizuka Review Company. The last sports festival was held in 2014 to mark 100 years of Takarizuka. The sports festival is essentially a giant competition or athletic meet where the various troops compete to determine who will walk away with a giant trophy at the end of the day. So the event is always held in a large sporting arena with thousands of fans in attendance. All five of the main troops compete with their teams made up of all members of that troop being led by their top star. Senka, the superior members also compete being led by Todoroki Yu. They are joined by current students of the Takarizuka Music School to form one team. So I think to an overseas audience, the idea of a musical company having a sports festival might seem a little bit strange. Actually, in Japan, it's not such an odd idea. Schools, of course, have annual sports events that are attended both by students and parents. But beyond that, many large companies also hold annual sports events to build teamwork. In Takarizuka, actresses are considered students during their time with the Takarizuka Review Company, even after they leave the Takarizuka Music School. So the idea of having a sports festival is kind of natural. So far in Takarizuka's history, there have been six sports festivals. The first was held in 1974, the Takarizuka's 60th anniversary, and it was won by the Moon Troop. The next was held in 1981, the Takarizuka's 67th anniversary, and it was won by the Flower Troop. The third in 1984, for Takarizuka's 70th anniversary, was won by the Moon Troop. The fourth for the 80th anniversary was held in 1994 and won by the Star Troop. The fifth in 2004 for the 90th anniversary was won by the Moon Troop, and the sixth in 2014 for the 100th anniversary was won by the Star Troop. The sports festival is truly a competition. There are moderators and all Takarazuka actresses take the event incredibly seriously. Takarazuka actresses are by nature mostly extremely competitive. Entering the Takarazuka Music School is very difficult and most Takarazuka actresses will have spent the majority of their childhood competing in dance competitions as well as playing various sports. Being a Takarazuka actress itself is by nature incredibly competitive as actresses work to push their way up the star system in the hopes of one day being top star or top musumeyaku. At the Takarazuka Sports Festival, you can truly see the incredibly competitive spirit that rests in the heart of every Takarazuka actress firmly on display. As the actresses compete in the various competitions, no matter how crazy a particular game is, all actresses push themselves to breaking point to win, and there are a lot of close-up shots of really stoic, serious faces. Honestly, the determined looks on the actresses' faces as they compete is kind of terrifying for me. True pride is also a huge factor. All Takarazuka actresses have a huge amount of loyalty to their troupe, and each actress wants to believe that their troupe is truly the top. The troupe that ultimately wins at the sports festival will walk away not only with a huge trophy, but also a great amount of pride in their performance. As the day goes on and you start to see some troops realise they have no chance of winning, you can see the sheer look of disappointment on the actresses' faces. That being said, the sports festival is an incredibly fun event. Failures, for example, actresses falling over, are showcased, actresses put on all sorts of crazy costumes, and there are a lot of jokes made at the different troops' expenses. In addition, the top 20 or 30 members of each troop will form a cheer squad at the side of the stage. They will wave pom-poms and chant loudly to cheer on their fellow teammates. For audience members, they are usually separated into blocks, matching their favourite troop. So for example, they will wear colours that match that troop. That would be pink for flower, yellow for moon, green for snow, blue for star, purple for cosmos and black for senka. In addition, some audience members will also wear costumes, for example, matching costumes worn in previous shows by their favourite troupe. So, to hopefully give you a clearer picture of what a Takarazuka sports festival actually looks like, 
I'm going to be looking more closely at the 2014 festival. So this event was held in October at the Osaka Castle Hall, a large arena with a seating capacity of up to around 16,000 people. So the sports festival began with a lavish opening ceremony in which each troupe one by one performed an extravagant dance number. These dance numbers were intended to showcase the fighting spirit of each troupe as well as warm up the audience. So for example, there were military inspired numbers as well as numbers inspired by more traditional Japanese dancers. After these numbers were concluded, all of the Takarazuka actresses marched into the center of the arena wearing white and grey jumpsuits with t-shirts in their troop colours. The top stars then walked around the arena carrying Olympic style torches. At the end, these torches were lit to signify the opening of the event. Following from this, the actresses split up to form their cheer squads on the side of the arena and a series of games were held. Actresses actually volunteer as to which game they would like to compete in and each troupe will try to select actresses likely to excel at a particular game. There is no division between otokoyaku and musumeyaku. All actresses compete together. Games range from fairly traditional athletic competitions, for example 75 meter sprint and baton relay, to the more bizarre, for example featuring actresses and fans running large balls across the arena and riding on fake ponies. In addition, you'll also see a lot of actresses tripping and stumbling over, which is a pretty unusual look for the typically incredibly graceful Takarizuka actresses. There's also a giant game of tug of war where the different troops are pitted directly against each other. To be honest, some of these games are completely terrifying to watch. For example, there's a giant game of musical chairs where the actresses actively dive for the chairs, fairly viciously pushing each other out of the way. Where multiple actresses are clinging to the same chair, the final decision as to who gets that chair is made by a game of rock, paper, scissors. There's also a large jump rope game where each troupe represented by 20 actresses competes to see which troupe can make the largest number of jumps over the rope during a limited time period. So each troupe goes one at a time, which means all eyes are really on that troupe. If a troop stumbles, they can restart within that time period, although this also restarts the jump counter. Just watching this game gives me so much anxiety. I was really awful at jump rope in high school, and the idea of being the person who causes my troop to stumble is too terrifying to even think about. You really can see the look of complete pressure on all of the actresses' faces. One of the more unusual games is a competition where around 30 members of each troop assemble on the field and then have to throw balls up into their troop's goalpost. A whistle will blow signaling that the actresses need to stop throwing and break into a troop dance number choreographed by the troop in advance. The whistle will blow again signaling a return to ball throwing and then this process will be repeated a few times. It's honestly really bizarre to see the actresses furiously throwing balls into a hoop only to then have to stop and break into a rocket style kick line dance number, all while still wearing their track suits. The actresses are scored both on the number of balls they can get into the net and on the quality of their dancing. At the half time point, there is a cheer performed by each of the Takarazuka troops, featuring a lot of dancing, singing, and sometimes musical instruments like drums. At the end of the day, there is an award ceremony. In 2014, the Star Troop was declared the winning troop after scoring the largest number of points across all the competitions. Individual awards, for example, MVP and Best Newcomer, were also awarded to different actresses. So that is the Takarazuka Sports Festival. It is truly a one-of-a-kind event that showcases the strength, competitiveness and teamwork of every Takarazuka actress. As someone who was never particularly sporty, the idea of competing in such a large competition seriously makes me sweat and the look of complete determination on all of the actresses' faces as they strive for the win or cheer each other on can be kind of terrifying. But the sports festival also features a lot of really fun and bizarre moments as well as providing a really great opportunity to see actresses in a different setting from the usually very glamorous Takarazuka stage. If you are interested in watching the Takarazuka Sports Festival, it is released on DVD. So in next week's episode, I'm going to be looking more at some special Takarazuka events as I attempt to answer the question, 
What are the special New Year's events for Takarizuka? I hope you'll tune in. And if you've been liking this series so far, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Please take care. Bye.